My name is Christopher Sidroth. I'm the head of the Laboratory of Translational Auditory Neuroscience at the Karolinska Institute in Stockholm, Sweden. Our work focuses mainly on tinnitus and aims at identifying new biomarkers, whether for using neural imaging techniques or genetics and blood biomarkers. Um, we recently improved um, objective measures of tinnitus in animals that we would like to, to adapt and translate to humans using magnetoencephalography or EEG measures, uh, which are pretty sensitive for assessing such changes in the brain activity. And in parallel, we're also addressing um, new genetic studies to identify genetic markers and genetic variants that are associated with tinnitus. Indeed, we recently found that some specific forms of tinnitus show greater heritability than others. For instance, tinnitus that is perceived in the two ears is significantly genetically associated um, and, uh, with, with, with a genetic predisposition whereas tinnitus perceived in one year is mainly influenced by the environment. And as a consequence, we are also investigating what are the environmental risk factors for tinnitus, which are poorly known. And our recent systematic review that we have performed with colleagues from the ESSET consortium reveals that the knowledge on the tinnitus risk factors is very poor. For this purpose, we recently <coughs> obtained uh, EU funding to investigate such aspects, but also to address sex and gender issues in tinnitus research, which are poorly understood. We recently found, for instance, that the risk for, um, for suicide attempts is greater in women, but not in men. And that, that risk is no longer seen in people that have been seeking medical care. So we would like to investigate further what are the different mechanisms that underlie this, the, the sexual dimorphic pathophysiology between men and women with tinnitus. Thank you.